Terry Bryant, one of the greatest leaders there's the chef department, and I guess in most administrations, diversity. And uh, former Chef Rice, I asked you this question many years ago. They took the NACP uh, to get you to promote up an African American to a administrative position. So I'll ask all candidates up there, what will you do to increase, might help your morale system, the uh, more diversity on your administrative staff? What have you done? What will you do? Well, I think my record in uh, promoting minorities is there to anybody to look at. Uh, and I remember your question, and, and I remember that meeting where you asked me that question. And if you'll remember, within six months, we had, a, we had an African-American promoted to captain. But, you know, and I developed a, a fair and equitable promotional process. I will make sure that that's what we have in place when I go back. And I will make sure that we reach out to make sure that every minority has an opportunity for promotion. Well, the man that ever Rice promoted to be a captain, the African-American, doesn't tell you the man never supervised one person. No command, no supervision, nothing. I won't do fake promotions. The man I promoted is an African American, the captain, is the division commander of our court security division supervising hundreds of people because he earned that promotion. We never had a diversity council in the sheriff's office. I the diversity council. Made up of African Americans, made up of Hispanics, made up of whites, made up of females, and we've gone around the state. Jacksonville, Daytona, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, trying to recruit, actively recruit, because we've lost a lot of diversity in the sheriff's office. When you cut 600 positions and you got nobody coming in the front door, and you become much less diverse. We need to increase that diversity and actively work on it. We're going to do something this fall for the first time in the last 25 years. We're going to sponsor people through the Law Enforcement Academy at St. Pete College with a dedicated effort at increasing our diversity and recruiting from St. Petersburg. That's the first time it's been done in 25 years. I'm committed to diversity. from TBG, where Josh Cobb lived in Clearwater. He gets 20 years. Robert E. Walker is a, was an attorney in Bel Air, also was the um, clear, he was an attorney in Clearwater for the county. You know, it's amazing how once you see this injustice, and you know, the African American people, I mean, they, I mean, these people have been fighting for their rights, for the constitutional rights. Do you know the reason we have to get our government wasn't for the white people, it was for the African American people? The marriage license wasn't for white people. We got a marriage certificate. They had to get a marriage license. And they are the ones who are still fighting for our, for our individual liberties and still fighting for our Constitution. Because our Constitution, I mean, we're selling ourselves out as a people. If you look at our demographics of the white population, we're going down in Europe and America. Where we killed 55 million babies. We're underjudging the people in the nation. And you go look at it on my YouTube account, Red Power for Sheriff. Look at the demographics. I didn't put this together. You look at it yourself, your families and so forth. But I'm just saying that these, I believe these are the leaders. I believe African Americans should be involved in our sheriff's department. Okay. So what I believe is that the makeup of the police at the sheriff's office should approximate the makeup of the pop general population of Pinellas County. So I think the percentage of African Americans and Hispanic uh, folks ought to approximate, it. those people who are employees at the sheriff's office ought to approximate what it is in the general population. And uh, I can tell you that it would not have, uh, there would not be a requirement uh, by the NAACP to come to me to encourage me to do that. I would do that automatically. And there's, there, uh, the, for, there ought to be some preference given when there are uh, not enough folks of a particular uh, race that are in the sheriff's office, there ought to be some efforts made to increase those numbers so that it approximates what it is in the general population.